Guys, if they ask something like what typhoid ulcer is, ulcer, you know what it is, right? So basically, this is uh, caused because of typhoid, that's all. Salmonella typhi is the bacteria which is causing this typhoid uh, fever, that's enteric fever. So because of this enteric fever, in the small intestine, there will be ulcers which are going to be called as typhoid ulcers. How are these ulcers going to be? They are going to be oval, right? They are going to be oval along the long axis. Remember, oval along the long axis. So if you see that in this diagram, where can you see the oval here? So oval along the long axis, right? Something like this. Oval along the long axis. These are the typhoid ulcers. They are oval along the long axis of the small intestine and they may be, uh, the complication of these can be perforation. So they can cause a perforation, okay? So you know Salmonella typhi is a gram-negative bacilli, right? So it is a gram-negative bacilli. So it causes salmo, uh, typhoid fever, enteric fever. So basically you have to remember it can be uh, a Peyer's patch, you know, Peyer's patch. In the ileum you would have seen the Peyer's patch. These are the Peyer's patches. So basically there can be uh, oval typhoid ulcers in Peyer's patch. Okay, The Peyer's patch show oval typhoid ulcers along their long axis. Why? Because uh, Peyer's patch is also lymphoid and these bacilli are localized in the intestinal lymphoid tissue. Okay, And uh, even in the mesenteric lymph nodes. Right? They can also be there in the liver, in the gallbladder. If they are there in the liver, uh, they will cause what is called as... Uh, in the liver, they will cause hemorrhagic lymphadenitis. In the gallbladder, they will cause typhoid cholecystitis. So in the Peyer's patch, they are causing oval typhoid ulcers. Okay, along the long axis of the length of the bowel, they will be oval. One uh, very uh, important thing you have to note is tuberculous ulcers, tuberculous ulcers, that is because of mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria, those ulcers will be transverse along long axis. Just pay attention here. Some uh, new point is being added here. So basically, if the ulcer is caused because of tuberculous uh, bacteria, it is tuberculous ulcer, those will be transverse along the long axis. So if this is the intestine, then they will be like this, the tuberculous ulcers. However, the typhoid ulcers, what we are discussing today, they will be oval along the long axis. These are typhoid ulcers, these are tuberculous ulcers, okay? So let's wind up this video. That's all we wanted to cover in this video. So is this clear? Just focus on all the points written here. Okay, so Peyer's patch, small intestine, these are very important words. Lymphoid, the bacilli, they concentrate in these lymphoid parts. So we will wind up this video now. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.